today I feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's a long tunnel, but I, I see the light. Queen's critical care nurse Sandra Lindsay giving us hope last December when she became the first New Yorker to get the COVID-19 vaccine. More than 200 million shots in arms later, scientists are still developing new ways to protect us from coronavirus. This is really a golden era of vaccinology. Dr. Greg Poland is the director of the Mayo vaccine, vaccine Research Group at the world-famous Mayo that. Clinic. There are companies working on patch vaccines, in other words, almost like a Band-Aid, where you'd apply it to your arm, called transcutaneous administration. One day in the near future, he says getting protection from COVID-19 might come in the form of a pill, nasal spray, or patch. It's a lot easier to run a immunization campaign when you base, when you have, uh, you know, when you can just essentially hand out tablets. Sean Tucker is the chief scientific officer for VaxArt Incorporated. The company is developing a COVID-19 vaccine that comes in the form of a tablet, pills that could be stored at room temperature and even mailed to people at home. Instead of putting it into syringes, we actually put it into a tableting machine, coat it with something protected from stomach acid, and then uh, either put it in a blister pack or give it out, you know, at, or put it in the bio, bottles. It makes them a lot easier to administer. You don't have to know how to um, administer shots in order to give these. Dr. Uh, Pervy Parikh is, is an immunologist at yet. NYU Langone Health. She says advancements in how we take vaccines will accelerate the process and help those who are afraid to get a shot. The nasal spray makes the inside of your nose immune, so it could theoretically stop the virus before it even gets uh, past your nose or throat, you know, before it makes its way into your lungs and bloodstream. So it, they do have some advantages um, because of that effect. So these scientific advancements actually are used for much more than just trying to uh, fight off COVID-19. They're used for other viruses and diseases. Clinical trials are underway, but don't expect to see a tablet or a nasal spray or patch that fights COVID-19 until at least next year or the year after. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.